Hello everyone, it's Kerry Jean Watson from KJW Studios again. I wanted to show you a rather extreme project that I've been working on for about a year now. Um, this was the first one, it's a photo journal and it ended up so thick and fat that I had to stick a decent size buckle on the side. Now I have featured this on my blog before but I thought I'd just go through it quickly again and show you sort of what the original idea was for the photo journal and then show you the next one that I made which is bigger and fatter and requires even more um, reinforcement to close it. So I've got a lot of pockets on the side with um, little bits and pieces and you know, little stories about what I saw. Now all the photos have been done through Instagram and I developed, I put together my own little template in Photoshop to print them all out so that they're all the same or around about the same size. Um, this was my little terrarium binge that I went on. They're all going quite well at the moment, especially with the wet weather we're having. So the idea of the photo journal was to take a photo each day of something that has made your day, made you happy, that sort of thing. Whether it be a little puppy who joined you for breakfast or, um, you know, the fact that you actually did a bit of textbook reading for class, that sort of thing. So I'm going to close this one and show you the new one. So this was the first one. This is the last one. It's quite fat. Now I did this one mainly because I just figured out and learnt and taught myself how to do Coptic stitch, how to do proper book binding and it's a lot of fun and I really really enjoyed it. But the only problem is once you make the book and when you start adding things to it, as you can see it gets quite full. So I started off with some archery photos and then some events and my brother came to visit from Perth so there's a little little stories about some of the um, some of the pages it's been a lot of fun doing this my the bicycles because that was the first bike I bought and then I found a better one so we sold that and I bought the new one making pancakes. Uh, as I said it, it's been a lot of fun um, for someone who suffers from depression it's a great way to um, look at what is positive in your life during the day and sort of be thankful for it and take a photo of it to remind you that there is good stuff in the world and there is good stuff in your life and um, I've I found it quite um, therapeutic uh, this was, I designed a collection, my first collection for Meg's Garden, so I documented that and we did a, um, a demonstration of um, Denise Body's uh, newest collection called The Mass Garden at the Craft Trap, so, you know, and I've got little date stamps in there as well. These are the two dogs I live with, who can be utterly cute and also very much pain in the butt sometimes some gardens I've seen because I don't own a car so I do a lot of walking and um, some of the suburbs you go through the flowers are just divine and I take lots of photos my little excursion to the local university to have a wander around the campus and then just some random stuff damaging my hand But it's been a, a great ex experiment and I think I will be doing some more. Uh, this was a trip I did to Handorf, which is, it's about an hour's, out of, hour, hour's trip out of um, Adelaide. And Meg's garden is based in Handorf, so I went for a bit of a wander to go and meet Meg and have a bit of a chat with her and see where we wanted to go with things. The hats, the hats are always important. 
So I just need to figure out methods in which to not have the book get this chunky. This was great. Um, met Heidi Swap again for the second time in about three, four months and she signed a little card, little make and take that we'd made and I got to have a photo with her and finally got to have a photo with Kim Jeffers because um, I didn't when they were over in November. So it's been it's been a lovely experience and it's really nice again right now to go through this and just have a look at you know the things that have happened, the things that have happened that have made me happy when I got my new job. So that was about three months ago. So I, I've done quite a few photos in three months. <laughs> a movie I went and watched. I tend to take photos of a lot of food that I eat um, because hey, food's good. And for someone who uh, had a bit of an eating disorder at one point in her life, having that food is good is a good thing so it's important to celebrate that. So this is my photo journal. I encourage you to maybe try and do your own photo journal. It's a lot of fun and it's very therapeutic and it's very it's very beneficial instead of having to do a scrapbook page for your photos. This is nice and you know quick and simple. You just take the photos and print them out and you know just chuck them down and sometimes you don't even need to add a story to them. You just the photos there and for me the photo means everything because I can recall the the memory and the information that um, I need that pertains to that photo. So I encourage you to do a photo journal if you can because they're a lot of fun and it's a great quick way of documenting things that happened like going to the hospital in June that was not fun but an experience and my new Ugg boots that I got and when I went and did Cellfield, which is a dyslexia remediation because I have quite severe dyslexia, but I manage and I cope. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. I've got a page still to go, which will, I'm sure, get filled up. So that's my um, photo journal, my big fat one. And hopefully I'll show you a new one when it gets done. Thank you very much. Have a good day.